what do you say to your players now? There are just five games left of this league campaign. What message do you give them to get them over the line? That it's uh, five finals and we have six finals with the cup final, of course. And it's doing what they've been doing. So in these six months together now, they're the team who, who took the most points in the league. Uh, and we need to continue doing that. And then we will see at the end of the roads where we can finish in that way. But if we take the most points again in this series, then you have a, a good chance to to make something uh, amazing out of this season that nobody expected uh, in October, I think. When you had that dip of results before the Cup semi-final, people start to panic, people start to worry. Is it important for you, people do remember the positives that you've just spoken about, the run they'd had before that and all the good work that you've done? Not only that, but also looking what went wrong. And that's important. It was a big difference between the Ross County game and the Dundee game. And you need to make the right conclusions about that, work on that, and work on that in the next game and, and, and make things better again. So that's what we did with the staff, with the players together. And that's what the, the players did on the pitch against Hearts, who are a really good team. We had an amazing season already. They deserve to be in, in third position, clearly. Uh, they had a re really good run of form. They were speaking also all week that uh, they had a good run of form. They had also one week to prepare this game. So all the positives were on their side, but we showed uh, on the day that we were better that day. And it's about showing our standards, keeping our standards and keeping your, your structure and your principles. And that we did much better against Hearts than we did against Dundee and for sure against Ross County. And in that way, we, we, we take the points again. The closer you get to the finish line, the closer you get to the prizes, the scrutiny increases, the pressure increases. How do you deal with that as a manager? What's your coping mechanism? To not read or to look at everything. Simple. That's all noise and it's, it's good for you guys. It's good for fans. Uh, but I'm only busy with the team, only busy with my players and the next game. And to prepare that in a good way because all this noise is just noise. It's, it's no added value towards the game. Can you ever switch off from it? Or does it become all-consuming? Is all your time spent thinking about the team, the players, the title race? Yes, but that's from the first day I stepped somewhere in, in, uh, in a building. So it's no difference now or uh, two or three months ago or, or six months ago. It's my life. It's my passion. It's what I want to do. It's what I love to do. I don't see it uh, as a job. I see it as, as my way of life. So, no, I'm, I'm enjoying that. And for sure, in a in a football crazy city as Glasgow where everybody loves football and everybody has an opinion about things and everybody's so passionate uh, to go uh, against you or, or to help you and to support you. So, no, it's a, it's a nice place to be here. A lot of speculation this week that the former Rangers manager Stephen Gerrard is interested in taking James Tavernier and perhaps Conor Golton as well to his current club. What would your reaction be if anyone came calling for those two players? That it will cost a lot of money. So we didn't hear anything about that. And there are for me two players who are important uh, for next season also. So I didn't hear anything. So I will not go into all the rumors because every week there are different rumors. Otherwise I have too much to talk about things who are not relevant. How is your squad for this week? Got a couple of players missing in doubt. Yeah, we, we lose uh, Abdallah Sima with an injury, so we're in contact in Brighton about that. I hope to see him back uh, next couple of weeks. We will see when. Uh, Rabbi Matondo also get injured in the, in the hard game. So he's a doubt for our game in the weekend. And uh, next week I expect uh, Ritvan Yilmaz and, and uh, Ryan Jack back in the training. So that's a positive. Um, and the rest of the situation stays the same with the other players. Finally, how dangerous an opponent are St. Mirren, given perhaps the pressure is off, they're looking to get Europe as a bonus to their campaign? No, it's a good team with a, with a good manager, uh, with a lot of energy, with a lot of passion. And like you say, they get their reward already from the season to be in top six. I think uh, that was the goal before season, like a lot of teams uh, want to reach that. And, and now they can put the next goal in that's going into Europe. So they have uh, exciting challenges 
for the next couple of weeks, like all of us. That's why I love also the system at the end of the season to, to play with, uh, with the best teams against each other. Uh, it's in Belgium the same or, or similar, only you play them two games against each other, that's different. But there, the bad thing is that the, the points are divided after the, the normal competition, what, what makes it up. not honest for me. So in that way, it's, it's, a, it's a good system and I think uh, all the fans want also that the best teams uh, compete uh, against each other.